In today's video I'm going to teach you how to install plugins in After Effects. So before I start the video I want to say make sure you watch the whole thing because if you do not you may miss out a step which is crucial and it may not work and it might bug out your After Effects or something like that. So make sure you watch the whole video through and you know pay close attention. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Creative Cloud on Desktop and we need to go here and make sure that our After Effects is actually up to date. So um, You'll be able to see here if it's up to date here. So once we've made sure it's up to date, we can open it and just make sure that everything is running smoothly uh, because sometimes when you update it, it might have like some errors or some issues. So make sure everything is running smoothly or your projects are there like I'm doing now. So I'm just loading it up. It's going to put all the plugins in. I mean, all the files in. Okay, so we're in here. It's going to ask us, you know, all of these different settings here. I'm just going to close this and then we can start a project, whatever we want to do. So everything's working good. So now we can actually add the plugin. So I'm going to show you a few ways to do this. So we can actually close this now. Now that make sure it's running all well. We can go back to the Creative Cloud here. And the first thing we can do is go to three dots here and we can go to Manage Plugins. Now, from here we can go to discover plugins if we haven't got any and there's tons that we can get from the uh, store here so we can add blur we can add all of these ones search what you need there's a chance that they have it in here uh, you know there's tons of different things you can have in here so give that a go once you see one that you like you can just click get here and that's going to install it into um, into the app itself so it should work so that one thing you've got to do is make sure that it's compatible with the app you're using. So you see there's a little thing there. It will tell you what it's compatible with. So find ones that are for After Effects. Um, again, I can go back to apps and then I can go here. And it should be on ones that are available for this. Um, but yeah, so that's the first way. The next way that we can do it is we have to actually... Uh, go into our files Okay, so what you want to do from here once you've gone into your files you want to figure out where you have installed After Effects one way you can do this is to go into here and um, You'll be able to figure out from here where you've put it uh, Somewhere there's a way that you can do it in here basically just find out where you installed After Effects to so for me, mine's in my E drive, Adobe, and you can see that it's actually here at the top of this file right here. So I can click on this here and go to support files. And once I'm in support files, there's loads of different files here. You want to go to the one that says plugins. So in here, you can actually add the plugins. Um, make sure you don't put it in any of, the, of these other folders because this will not work. But this is the one you want. So plugins and you want to, you wherever you download your plugin from, you can do two things. You can drag it straight into here, or you can make a new folder for it. So if you've got one that's like motion blur, you can add that and you can drag it into here. So there'll be a folder on your plugin section called motion blur, which just keeps your stuff a bit more organized. So you can drag it into there. And then once you close that, make sure you have After Effects closed, otherwise it's not going to work. But close After Effects. Possibly even restart your computer if it's not showing up. And then it should be showing up there. And that's how you do it. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.